Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the first module of uh, 18 Math uh, Dip 31. So uh, in this module, we have two main topics: complex trigonometry and vector algebra. Okay, and uh, if you like this video, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So uh, starting, we have in complex trigonometry, we have the definitions and problems, and after that, we have the modulus and amplitude. That's the two main important topics. And in uh, De Moivre's theorem, we have the uh, numerical types. Okay, so there are three formulas in that. We'll be discussing the formulas as well. And coming to uh, vector algebra, uh, we have the addition and subtraction and uh, multiplication of vectors as well as dot and cross products and the problems uh, associated with that. Okay, so let's get, get started with the first one, which is uh, complex trigonometry. So uh, basically, you need to know what is a complex number. Complex number is nothing but x plus i y. Okay, z is equal to x plus i y is a complex number. And uh, x and y are the real numbers. i is uh, root of minus one, which is called the imaginary number. And uh, if z is equal to x plus i y, the conjugate of z is z bar, which is z, uh, x minus i y. Okay. And uh, the second topic is the modulus and amplitude. This is very important from exam point of view. Okay. If they ask you the modulus, we have to uh, modulus of x plus i y is nothing but x square plus y square root. Okay. Modulus is nothing but x square plus y square root. Okay. And uh, theta is the amplitude of uh, the complex number. Okay. So we'll be seeing uh, seeing how to calculate the um, modulus and the amplitude of uh, any given function okay and the properties are as follows you can go through it like x plus i uh, x1 plus i y1 uh, is, uh, if it's equal to x2 plus i y2 then uh, the minus also hold okay so x1 minus i y1 is equal to x2 minus i y2 and the sum difference uh, and product and uh, quotient of two complex numbers is uh, given as follows some uh, for some what you have to do x1 plus uh, x2 you have to take in one side and uh, i you have to take common and write y1 plus y2 same thing goes for difference as well and for the multiplication purpose remember it uh, remember it in this way first multiply the real terms and the imaginary terms like x1 y1 and uh, y1 y2 so x1 x2 and uh, y1 y2 then uh, you subtract it okay after subtraction of that you have to write i and then cross multiply x1 with y2 and uh, x2 with y1 then write the subtraction of it okay right uh, two or three times you'll get to know this then the quotient is as follows. What you have to do is you, you just have to um, normalize the denominator. So what you'll do if it is x2 plus i by 2, you have to multiply it with x2 minus i by 2 in the numerator. Also, you have to do the same thing. When you do that, you'll get the uh, real part as this one and imaginary part as this one. That's uh, that was for the quotient and every complex number can be expressed in the uh, in this form r cos uh, theta plus i sin theta. This is also known as CIS. Okay, CIS means cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay where x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. r cos theta this is considered as a x, so x plus i y is there, right? So what will be y? If you multiply r inside, it will be y, uh, r sin theta. So uh, y is nothing but r sin theta. Okay, so when you square it and add these both terms, if you square it and add, what you will get is x square plus y square is equal to r square, therefore r is equal to x square plus y square's root. And uh, if you divide y by x, we will get the value of tan theta, so theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. These two formulas will be extensively used in the problems, okay? And um, x plus i y is this one, r is equal to this one, theta is equal to this one. That's uh, just the representation of what we discussed now. And conjugate of z is z bar, so it will be x minus i y instead of x plus i y. And these are some of the formulas also, which are uh, not much used, but they, uh, they are also uh, appear in the previous papers. Okay, so let's uh, get started with the problems here. What are the uh, type of problems you can expect in exam? So uh, modulus and amplitude, you have, to, you have to find the uh, modulus and amplitude of uh, the given function here. So first what you have to do, the, here you can see as a square, right? So square means expanding. So when you expand it, you will get two terms here. The first is a real term till here. This is the imaginary term. Okay. The real term has the denominator 5 as well as the imaginary term also has the denominator 5. Now you are being asked to calculate the modulus. The first part of the question is find the modulus, right? So what is the formula of modulus? x square plus y square. So what is x? x is this one. And what is y? y is this one. Okay. So when you do that, x square plus y square, then you square it and take the root, you will get the value of r as uh, 11 uh, root 5 by 5. Okay. And amplitude is nothing but uh, y by x. So as you can see from here, what is y? The y value is this one divided by x value. Okay. So 5 5 will get cut from both the uh, terms up and uh, down. So we'll be remaining with these two terms, which is nothing but the tan inverse. Okay. So that is the value of amplitude. And uh, the second type of question is uh, to reduce this into the uh, modulus amplitude form. So for that, what you have to do, first you have to take what is x and what is y. So x is nothing but r cos theta, y is r sin theta. So x will be this one and y will be this one. 
so it is written as r cos theta and this is written as r sin theta okay then you uh, what you have to do the next step after you have taken r uh, cos theta and r sin theta square it and add when you square it and add cos square theta plus sin square theta will be 1 so r square will be here r square is this one so therefore uh, r is equal to sin alpha by 2 after you have got the value of r find the tan theta value by uh, dividing y by x so what you'll get is this one so by that you can find the value of theta which will get as uh, pi minus alpha by 2 okay after you have got the value of theta what you're supposed to do is you have to write this equation in the form of this one now as you can see from here it's nothing but uh, instead of theta just i've written uh, pi minus uh, alpha by 2 instead of this one write pi minus alpha by 2 here also write pi minus alpha by 2 after that take the common things it means uh, what you'll get is pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 so cos pi by 2 minus alpha by 2 is equal to sine um, alpha by 2 in that way you have to do the substitutions and take what is common and you'll be remaining with the final answer this is the equation which is of the form modulus amplitude okay coming to geometric representation of complex numbers the r theta form means uh, r is the radius and theta is the amplitude so z is equal to r um, in the r theta form okay and the same thing can be represented in x y form also by using the coordinates so the diagram is called as argon diagram okay next is the uh, de Morbius theorem these are the three formulas important formulas and this is the uh, official formula here what we have is cos theta plus i sin theta raised to n if you have taken n inside it will be cos n theta plus sin n theta that's it okay so using these formulas what uh, questions you can explain is this one okay this is the previous question so here what you have uh, been given is uh, you have to prove this one is equal to this one okay so observe carefully whenever you have given a uh, type of question in uh, this form here what we have is 1 plus cos theta plus i sin theta but here uh, in the equation just we have cos theta plus i sin theta so you have to convert it in the form of cos theta plus uh, i sin theta so instead of that uh, instead of this one what you can take this one whole is equal to r cos uh, r cos alpha alpha is another value okay so this whole will be r cos alpha this whole will be r sin alpha okay uh, r sin alpha yes so after that you have taken that it will be in the official form r cos alpha will be here and r sin alpha will be here raised to n so how can that be written is in this form after you have taken these two things square it and add you will get the value of r then uh, take the tan value as uh, previously done you have done the same thing after you do that you will get the alpha value which is uh, theta by 2 after that consider the lhs part substitute these two things which you have taken in the lhs part when you substitute that you will get this formula here in this form so uh, when you take r power n outside so we'll be remaining with this formula and here uh, i sin alpha i sin n alpha and uh, minus i sin n alpha will be getting cut and will be remaining with 2 cos n alpha okay and now uh, one important substitution is there r we have got as 2 cos theta by 2 right in the up we have got so substitute uh, 2 cos theta by 2 in the place of r so you'll have uh, 2 cos theta by 2 raised to n and you have 2 here so 2 uh, raised to n and 2 you'll get 2 raised to n plus 1 and uh, here we have cos uh, theta by 2 so cos power n because of this one theta by 2 and the cos n alpha will be here and alpha is nothing but theta by 2 so we will have an alpha by 2 okay so this is the final answer this is what we have to prove in the rhs right this one so we got the same answer okay so this is the type of question which you can expect in the de Morbius theorem and coming to vector algebra there are the four topics addition subtraction multiplication and um, dot product and vector product okay so the subtraction addition multiplication is same like for addition you will use the triangles law and for subtraction you will do the negative sum multiplication is just uh, multiplied uh, constant with the vector okay so here three things you need to observe here three axis x axis y axis and z axis here we have alpha beta and gamma okay three um, angles are there and cos alpha cos beta and cos gamma nothing but the direction cosines when you uh, square them and add you will get as one these two important things you have to remember okay now what is the distance between two pairs if it's uh, given as x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 the distance is x2 minus x1 subtract this one square it and add with uh, the subtraction of this one and this one okay when you take the root you'll get the distance between two points so these are the points given to us a b and c and what we have to do is we have to prove that it is a right angle um, isosceles triangle and the direction cosines you have to find for a b only for a b you have to find direction cosines observe one thing carefully here if you have to uh, find out if it's a right angle tri isosceles triangle or not first we have to prove the uh, uh, pythagoras theorem if it is a square plus b square it should be equal to c square for that we need the distances a b and c for that what we'll do we'll do find the distance between the point a and b using the above formula so we'll get the answer as 3 root 2 here also for bc we'll get 3 root 2 for ca we'll get 6 when you uh, square it and add you'll get as 6 so therefore it is a right angle triangle 
how can you prove it is isosceles triangle because these two are same if two sides are same it is isosceles triangle so first part of the question is over prove that it is a right angle isosceles triangle next is direction cosines of ab what does uh, direction cosine mean direction cosine means what value you got here for ab right for ab what you are doing minus 1 and 4 this is one di uh, direction cosine this is another one this is third one so we'll have three direction cosines here that will be writing as such and uh, this, uh, sorry these are the direction ratios for cosines what you have to do is nothing but the angle so what angle you can find here 45 what is um, cos 45 because cosines means um, it will be cos alpha cos beta and uh, cos gamma okay so the beta value uh, means alpha and beta value here is 45 45 so cos uh, 45 is 1 by root 2 cos minus 45 is minus 1 by root 2 and cos 90 is 0 so you'll get three direction cosines here that's all what you have to prove in this one and uh, coming to uh, scalar product and the vector product scalar product formula is a dot b is equal to a b cos theta a cross b is equal to a b sin theta for vector product okay and uh, the cross product can also be written in this form we'll be uh, seeing how to uh, solve the numericals uh, using this one okay this are already, st already studied in the uh, 12th standard so we'll be just revising this one okay so here the uh, find the, the uh, this is the type of the problem find the sides and the angles of the triangle whose vert vertices are this and this and this okay so three vertices are given to us so vertices are nothing but the distance from the center okay so observe carefully in this diagram this is a z-axis this is y-axis this is x-axis okay so a is given this is o o a is given to us o b is given to us o c is given to us and these three points form a triangle this one now these are the sides of the triangle okay which is given to us o a o b and o c but we need these three sides a b a c and b c for that what we will be doing if you want to find uh, bc what we will be doing is oc minus ob so when you subtract these two things you'll get this one same thing we will find for c and ab as well after we have got the three sides we can find out the uh, distances very easily like uh, what are the uh, coefficients here one two and three what is one square one what is two square four what is three square nine one plus four plus nine is equal to um, 14 right so 14 uh, that root we will take here like that we will do for this one and this one also so we'll get the answers here okay and after that we have to find the direction cosines of a b and a c and uh, other also we have to find because we have to find out the uh, angles right we have found out the sides here a b b c and means a c b c and uh, uh, a b so a uh, sides is uh, done we have to find the angles to find out the angles we need the cos value so for cos values first we have to take the direction cosines so first we'll take for a b and a c so how, how is the direction cosines calculated the formula is that um, a b is this one right 1i plus 3j minus 3k okay so what you have to take the numerators the coefficients are, uh, are the numerators 1 3 and minus 3 and after the denominator will be same squaring and uh, taking the square root okay so this will be as follows and this for uh, ab same thing we are, do, are doing for uh, ac as well so ac uh, if we uh, do the same thing we'll get these answers here like that uh, we have to do for bc and ba as well as c and cb so we'll get some values here by using these values what we have to do is we have to find out the cos values okay so cos is equal to this one is uh, which two terms are getting multiplied first we have to find out for a b and a c right so these two terms will be multiplied then uh, add with these two terms and add with these two terms multiplied that is for a b and a c when you do for a b and a c what is common between a b and a c it is a so cos a answer we will get a answer will be cos inverse of that answer so cos b also will find in the same way and uh, finally we will find out cos c also so we'll get the values of a b and c which is the angles okay that's what we have to find in the question and uh, the next type of question which you can expect in uh, exam is this one okay two vectors are given a and b and find out a unit uh, unit vector n perpendicular to vector a and b such that a b and n form a right uh, right handed system also find the vectors a and b okay uh, if you have uh, any type of question in which cross product is there and two vectors are given first you have to take a cross b a cross will be a cross b will be this one and the answer will be 7i minus 6j minus 10k okay so this is the vector which you got for cross product and to find out the value of it what you have to do is you just have to um, do the squares okay 7 square plus uh, 6 square plus 10 squares root when you do that you will get a root of 185 that's your answer and if you have to find out the um, unit vector n at that time a cross b will be written as such here and what is the value of a cross b that will be written here so this is nothing but the unit vector unit vector means what the value up here is getting divided by the same uh, answer so uh, that is a unit right unit means 
if 2 by 2 is there 2 by 2 is nothing but 1 so 1 is the unit right so that's why we are uh, dividing the vectors value with the um, modulus value of vector okay so uh, and also a is equal to this one 4 square plus 3 square plus 1 square so we are adding these values squaring and adding because a is given as such here so just uh, take the coefficient square it and add it and take the root okay so we'll get root 26 same thing we'll get for b also as 3 okay then uh, what is a cross b is equal to a b sin theta so by that uh, we know the value of a cross b are calculated root 185 and a b we will can get from here 26 um, means root 26 into 3 and that is sin theta therefore theta will be equal to sin inverse of this value that's your uh, theta value okay so that's all uh, in the module one so and uh, we'll move on to the module two now